what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and another garage video today we're going to be working on this sweet 2021 yfc 450r this is my buddy josh's quad he just picked it up he's going to be getting it ready for race season he currently has a kfx 450 which is for sale if someone wants a sweet deal on a race ready kfx 450 let me know i'll give you all the details and uh, maybe you guys can score a, a sweet kfx 450 but we're going to make two videos guys of two upgrades i think you really need to do if you're getting a new yamaha or even if you have an older one um, and number one is changing the clutch basket the clutch baskets on these things have been known to explode and sometimes it's in an hour and sometimes it might be in a few years you never really know but it is a very common issue and it's something you need to address because if it does happen you basically be out an engine it's going to do a ton of damage internally and you're going to have to split the cases and fix it so you don't want to be doing that on a nice brand new quad the second video we're going to make after this one is uh, replacing the flywheel bolts with grade 8 bolts those have been known to snap so we kind of do that to all our quads two things i think you you guys really need to consider doing so we are running the 2009 to 2010 yfc 450r clutch basket this is the eight rivet basket you can see this is the one we're going to be changing out this is from another quad i just did so what happens is these springs will loosen up and fly out and then you can say bye bye to your engine this one does not have any springs it's fully riveted and it has some rubber bushings in between all these rivets it's a much better setup not sure why yamaha switched this it's it's actually crazy they do not cover this under warranty and it's happened i mean probably thousands of times and it's just it's a it's a it's a known issue and this is the way you correct it you can also buy an aftermarket basket from a bunch of different companies like weissco i believe moose racing makes one now uh, hinson has one recluse has one so there are options but i'm pretty sure the oem option is probably the cheapest so we'll show you guys the part numbers for the basket it's 18p-16150-00 you're also gonna have to buy the washer that goes between the basket and the hub that number is 5xd16154-00 and we just got another locking tab as well that number is 90215-20005 i will put these numbers in the description so if you want to reference them later you can uh, so we did drain the oil because we're working on both sides of this machine we do need to take the flywheel cover off um, both jobs you can do without draining the oil if you just tip the quad up on its side we've done it before you can do it and save the oil but we're doing an oil change so we just drain the oil and to make things easier especially for the sake of this video we're going to work like a gentleman but let's get going guys and change out this faulty clutch basket all right guys first things first we're gonna have to remove the rear brake pedal it'll make things easier that's a number six allen we'll just take out the bolt and then the pedal can kind of drop down and be out of the way there we go Whew, that is tight tight from the factory I'll tell you that all right so we can kind of just lay that down all right now we got the cover i'm just going to use an impact gun to take this off There are a couple pins that go in the case and the cover so just make sure we got one that was stuck in the cover i'm just going to grab it and put it back in the engine all right now for the clutch we just have three 10 millimeter bolts we can loosen those up all 
and then you can remove that and the springs and then there's three little rubber bushings that are in there I just like to use a pick and grab those take off our pressure plate you can tell this girl is new look at how fresh these clutch plates look we're gonna grab the throw out bearing so this has the safety locking washer you just need to bend that over I just use a, a pair of pliers and a flathead screwdriver goes thirty millimeter socket all right now our whole inner hub should be able to we should be able to pull it right out with all the clutch plates it's very oily but that came right out which is nice so we'll show you the washer that's in here and I think part of the problem is I mean it could be this too but look at the difference between that washer I'm going to show you the other one that's a big difference guys still no idea why Yamaha changed it but now we can just remove the basket you can see it's that style this thing looks super clean inside even the oil was super clean when I drained it so we have our new basket we're just going to pop that in so basically what you want to do is this thing has the, the two gears that will lock into the primary drive gear and the oil pump idler gear the oil pump idler gear so what you want to do is while you're pushing this in you want to kind of spin it forward and back and it'll lock in and it will push in so it pushed in a little bit but it's going to push in a little more right there so that's in, that's all the way in and you have your washer you can pop that in so we just took all the frictions and seals off we have to take that we have to take this out anyway to torque it so all right so we got the inner hub in place i'll we'll put our lock washer in there and then we can put the nut back it's going to be 54 foot pounds we have our our handy Yamaha clutch basket tool this will lock the basket in the hub so it doesn't spin just like that it might be a little tough to torque I'm gonna have to try to hold both but well, I think we can get it there we go we got that now we just need to bend one of these tabs over I just like to use uh, some channel lock pliers just grab it and then bend it looks pretty good put the throw out bearing back in and then we'll just reinstall our clutch pack just keep an eye on how you took it out but basically the smaller friction plate first and then you just alternate with a friction with a steel and then a friction until you finish the pack
So these last two we'll put on the pressure plate because they are a smaller steel and a smaller friction. Now we're ready for the pressure plate. You'll just have to put that in and just move the friction so it locks in with the basket. And then it will push in like that. Put the three rubber bushings back in. They can only go in one way, so you guys can't mess that up. And then we can get our springs and then the plate and the bolts. So you have your three springs. So we will run these in. We're not gonna run them in all the way, but we're just gonna run them in a little bit with the cordless drill. And then we'll torque them down. So these are 7.2 foot pounds or 86 inch pounds. That's one. There's two. There's three. Now we can go ahead and put back on, put back on the, the gasket and the cover. So these gaskets, you can reuse for the clutch cover. I always reuse them at least once or twice. Oh, she's upside down. Just line it up, it'll pop back in, then just run all your bolts back in. We'll do the same thing, we'll start these, we'll start these um, with the gun. And then we'll torque them down, same torque specs, 7.2 foot pounds or 86 inch pounds. Actually, my belt here. All right, we'll torque them down. And then we just need to put our brake pedal back on. And we're good to go. All right, those are done. Get the brake pedal back in, and uh, this is a wrap. Definitely easy to do, guys, even if you're not crazy mechanically inclined. Just follow along, follow the torque specs, and uh, you can change out your basket. They do make a, <clears throat> a universal clutch basket holder. Tuss makes one. I have one of those. It works great, um, but when you're dealing with the OEM, hub and basket, I, that uh, EBC clutch holder tool is sweet. Worth the investment for sure, even if you only use it a, a couple times. Let's see if I can find the torque specs for that. Uh, so this is, uh, we did find it. So this is 19 foot pounds definitely was way more than 19 foot pounds I can tell you that that thing was pretty hard to get off all right that's that All right guys, that is a wrap for this video. Stay tuned for our second video coming soon. That's gonna be uh, upgrading the flywheel bolts to grade eights. It'll be a nice quick video. So you guys make sure you check it out, especially if you own a YFZ 450R. And like I said before, I believe, I think this is one of the most important things you should be doing if you get one of these quads is upgrading that basket. Don't let it grenade on you guys. Trust me when I tell you, don't let it happen. So upgrade those baskets upgrade your flywheel bolts and have fun riding that's a wrap like i said give me a thumbs up that helps a ton drop some comments let me know what you think and if you haven't yet please subscribe 
and I'll see you on the next one, all right? Peace.